Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create notch in Tecla structure, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we're going to create beam. So click on steel and set this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create the beam like this. Okay, now we're going to create one more beam. So pick the first point at here and don't click on it just place the cursor and type the length two feet and click on enter to create the beam with the length two feet like this right click on mouse interrupt now we're going to change the profile of this beam and so double click on this beam you'll get this property window like this now we're going to change the profile so click on here profile catalog and click on here let's take w1240 then click on apply ok then click on mouse button see the result like this now i'm going to change the color of it so let's take the class 2 then click on modify and close it okay now i'm going to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines click on create and click on ok and ok now take the elevation along grid b so you can see elevation along grid b so click on window and select this view list and let's take elevation on grid b click on here and close it you can see by default this beam and this beam two are intersect each other so now we need to maintain some clearance at here with the notch so to create the notch connection go to the application components by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here and in search bar type number 76 and you will get this notch component number 76 and select this component and pick the main part as this beam and pick the secondary part as this beam by default we have the notch connection like this and close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redraw click on window and select this 3d view you can see you will get like this okay now our requirement is this small beam uh, need to be welded with this full length beam in the web and we need clearance at here half inch uh, for example go to window and set this elevation you can see now this beam should be connected into this web and there is no clearance at this location and at here we need to maintain half inch clearance horizontally and vertically so double count this component symbol and here you can see now we have the, from flange edge to beam distance we require half inch so enter here half inch similarly flange inside surface to this beam edge surface should be half inch so enter here half inch so click on modify to see the result you can see now the clearance might be half inch now we're going to check this uh, clearance so click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse zero view and go to edit and click on measure and select this horizontal distance and you should activate this option snap to geometry lines or points and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here and place it According to our requirement, we, uh, this distance should be half inch, but here we have 5 by 8 inch. So, how to uh, change this distance to half inch? We will see it. So, go to measure and select vertical distance and pick the inside surface and this one and place it here. Now we have this spacing half inch, but we don't have any spacing at here half inch. We have more than half inch. So, right click on mouse interrupt. And click on space right click on mouse redraw view uh, double click on this component symbol now you can see rounding we have the value rounding here option s so we need to change this option no uh, to get the exact half inch clearance set here so select this option no and then click on modify apply ok now we're going to check the spacing once again so click on here and set the horizontal distance now the spacing should be half inch 
Similarly, in the vertical distance, we're going to check. You can see now we have exactly half inch clearance at this location, right from the center up. Now coming to here, uh, according to our requirement, now this beam should be attached to this beam. There is no clearance between these two web surfaces. So double click on this component symbol once again. Now go to parameters tab. In the parameters, in the clearance, we need to make it here zero. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see. Now there is no clearance between the two webs. Then click on modify, apply, OK. Click on space, right click on mouse, And double click on this component symbol once again. Here we have the two options. With the, you can maintain the clearance from inside surface of this flange in horizontal or vertical. And we have the second option also. Click on here and select this option. Uh, from this option, you can maintain the uh, clearance of it from center of this beam to edge of this beam. So for example, horizontally from center of this beam to edge distance, so we're going to take here five inch. Uh, from the top to edge, we're going to take one inch. From the top surface of this beam to the secondary beam edge surface, then click on modify to see the result. You can see, now from center to edge should be five inch according to this option. On top of the surface to edge distance one inch from this option okay let's check this distance also click on space right to the field review and click on measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here and place it now we have the five inch and click on here and select the vertical distance from top surface to edge it should be one inch right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse field review double click on this component uh, currently, we're going to take off inch clearance. So click on here and select the first option. Then let's take off inch clearance from the inside surface of the flanges. So click on modify, apply, OK. Click on space, right click on mouse, CDW. Now go to window and select this CDW. And click on space, right click on mouse, CDW. You can see you will get like this. Okay, now we're going to weld these two parts. So click on steel and select this weld and pick the main part as a this beam and pick the secondary part as a this beam to weld these both beams. Right click must interrupt. You can see now these two parts are welded together. Okay. Now this welded like this. Double click on this weld symbol. Currently we have only the one side weld. Now we're going to edit this weld to the all round. So click on here, you can see currently we have the edge weld. So click on here, select this around, then click on modify and close this window. You can see. Now we have the weld around the part like this. Okay, that's it about how to create notch and weld in Tecla structures. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel. YouTube.com slash SK. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Under videos, you can find out so many Tecla structure related videos. I hope this video might be helpful to you. And at the top right corner, please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe, you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay, thank you.